So I told you that the kid I played video games with owned a copy of and would play a lot of the new music at the time, including Follow the Leader by Korn. To this day I'm a devout Smashing Pumpkins fan and he owned a copy of and played in my humble opinion, the best album ever, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. But with Follow the Leader, I heard Jewel 7 string guitars for the first time and bass you had to pay attention to here was both popped and plucked. That fall of junior year, Korn was having what they announced was the Korn cover contest for their new album issues. The winner would have their art as the cover for their new album and you would also win $10,000. The kid I played video games with never told me he was into art, but I'd glance over and there would be these perfect Dragon Ball Z pencil drawings. It was so odd that he was the one into art. He was the one who first had me listen to Korn, but he would not contribute an entry to the Korn cover contest. I write, I am not a great sketch artist. But that didn't deter me from working on my entry. I find that while not a master of any discipline, I will dedicate myself fully once committed. So I would go to school and come home and work on my entry. It was a corn field with their heads sprouting out of the corn stalks. No need for a scarecrow, huh? I sent it off before the deadline hoping for the best. I didn't win. That honor was awarded to Alfredo Carlos and I'm absolutely glad that my design was not picked above the winners. Only as I write this, have I seen the covers that won on the issue's Wikipedia page. Immensely talented artists that truly deserved to win. I didn't own a computer or the internet back then, but I also learned that Korn gave away an mp3 copy of Falling Away from me as a free download. Issues still sold millions of copies. I'd catch the video for falling away from me after I'd get off the bus and Korn had their Scooby-Doo cameo on South Park. Fall turned into winter, and junior year went on. 